We've been waiting for them and it's finally here. Enlisted's new class according to the 2023 roadmap has been released. And it's what everybody wanted. Paratroopers. Back in my video on what campaigns we all want to see in 2023, I actually mentioned a paratrooper feature and how amazing it would be for the game and what campaigns it would be in, so go and watch that video. But they made this idea come alive. This new dev blog only contains a few details about them, and I'm sure more will be added and changed over time. It's even been confirmed that there will be an event paratrooper squad in the future, so make sure when the next enlisted events are released that you grind for them. They'll be awesome and they're free. We also don't know whether these paratroopers will be able to to land in the grey zone of maps, and that's not something even revealed to the official helpers yet, but when they do know more details they'll be answering all your questions over on our massive enlisted discord server, link in the description to that, and over on my twitch streams on which I always go on rants about the grey zone and how some grey zones are really game breaking on certain maps, so make sure you're over there every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. Anyway, it says here that these are universal soldiers, now I'm not even sure what that really means, but could be one of the Russian to English translation mishaps, or maybe it means they'll be added to every single campaign, which is honestly what it should mean, and it would be amazing. They are trained to handle any infantry weapon presented, which basically means nothing is off limits to them. Literally nothing, which makes them actually giga OP, like <laughs> what on earth? And they're able to appear at any point of the battle, though I assume this just means being picked on the respawn screen in your squad loadouts as normal, but it does add a super strategic element to the game, and I absolutely love this. If you can pick the squad at a moment when you need to flank, destroy enemy infrastructure like rally points or machine guns, this will be so, so amazing. You can even choose your own landing points, so basically it implies everywhere is allowed. Though, as said earlier, it's unsure whether they'll be able to jump into the grey zone, and honestly I feel like they need to be allowed there. It's one imperfect remedy, but an important remedy nonetheless, to the problems that the grey zone itself brings to the game. Maybe they'll give the paratroopers a time limit to return to the combat zone if they do spawn there, maybe they won't permit them building in the grey grey zone. Uh, the point being, there are so many different options on what they could allow and disallow for these guys, and the developers really need to consider this as a viable solution to all the issues with grey zone campers and the zone problems itself. Maybe they've already considered this, and maybe I'm just, you know, saying things even though that they already are doing it, which in which case, you know, the developers are doing a fantastic job. Initially, every soldier gets an assault weapon, so this probably implies a Thompson for the Americans or an MP40 for the Germans, although I know many of the comments will want the German paratroopers to get FG42s instead because of historical accuracy reasons, you know. The fact that they mention the successful landing part is actually very important. This is so vital to balance these paratroopers, considering, you know, how many abilities they have and the, how they're going to be so amazingly useful. Especially Especially for attacking teams. If you've ever seen my rants ever on Twitch, then you know how badly attacking teams need buffs before the massive matchmaking overhaul comes in the summer. The point is, the so-called time to land needs to be long enough that it helps nerf them slightly, and it means that they can be countered and shot down perhaps before they can land, even though that's infringing on uh war crime territory, but we all know they're just Geneva suggestions. Now, I don't know how long this time to reach the ground will be yet, but likely will just be the same timing as any normal pilots jumping out of a plane already, but it is one way the developers could try and nerf them, should any problems arise when they are implemented, by extending the length of time to hit the ground, which is, I mean, you know, kind of defying the laws of gravity, but... I don't know, it's something to consider. But then there is also a supply box dropped from the transport. Supposedly here these paratroopers can pick up anything and everything they want, which is ridiculous and actually an amazing feature. I absolutely love this, especially the idea that they can pick an engineer hammer. This means that they can build rally points. This is so important to help allow attacking teams to flank the point even better than they can right now. It's just terrific. They're giving attacking teams so many more options, which is really what they need. I'm running out of positive adjectives to describe this new class. And then it mentions the pre-order paratrooper bundle. Two premium squads of paratroopers, one US and another German, with an amazing portrait and nickname decorator, which honestly I think looks amazing. This may genuinely be my favourite pre-order bundle in the game so far. They've actually done this so well in my opinion. From a monetization perspective, releasing it as a pre-order bundle first for monetization, then also giving the players the chance to get the squads for free, but at a later date, through the events, to help generate the 
hype. Honestly, I give massive plaudits to Darkflow for the new class, but also this as a new way of monetization. A huge, huge thank you. It's just so good. And then my Discord server, we've already seen so many people saying they're going to buy it. So it's working so well. The short's 12 second trailer previews for these paratroopers are also amazing too. I can't lie. A brand new Thompson SMG and a brand new FG, both of which I hope don't mean I need to already change my video on the best 30 weapons in the entire game, which you can watch up in the top right hand corner of this video now. Both also look really interesting and good but also historically accurate, which I'm sure pleases every part of the existing player base. And both old and new players looking at the game thinking, wow, this new class is pretty dang cool. I'll be honest though, I've never seen the movie Dirty Dozen, but I will want to now that they've mentioned it in the description of these squads. For the Germans, the new Nockensack? 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 I don't I do think I still speak German. Uniforms look great too. Oh, and um, those of you who are smart will realise these videos and the squad and the images around it imply that there's a new map coming to the game because there is currently nothing that looks like this already. This is coming soon, along with all the other amazing updates, and you'll love this one. Trust me. Lastly, it does also say at the end of the previous paragraph that new content in the game will often appear in simple events, and getting it will allow you to level up campaigns quickly. This is really, really promising, and a very underrated sentence. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can remain updated and in the know when these new updates do come into the game, because I will make videos on them, trust me. And like the video if you love the idea of paratroopers, like myself, they are dang cool.